All right, guys. Thanks for riding Thanks. Marble Taxi. Thank Appreciate you very much, it. sir. Absolutely. Awesome experience. Have a good one. Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. Tesla, you remember that company Tesla? Kind of Elon Musk has something to do with them. Well, anyway, Tesla have decided to launch uh, officially its first real world robo taxi service right there in Austin. That's right, we're talking full autonomous rides with no one behind the wheel. Let's have a quick look at what is in the news today. So Tesla's pilot RoboTaxi's program is now live in Austin, Texas, with a small fleet of modified Model Y vehicles offering real-world rides to the public. For now, it's limited to 10 to 20 vehicles operating in a geofenced area in, South, in the South Congress neighborhood. The cost? Just $4.20 per ride. Rides are available from 6 a.m. to midnight, but here's the catch. It's invite only for now. That means that Tesla's employees, selected users, and a handful of influencers are all getting early access to this service. So, video, so videos have surfaced showing that the robo taxis swerve into the wrong lane, speeding slightly over the limit. Not driving until our seatbelts were on. Speed up. We are breaking the law slightly. right now. I don't know. 41. As I zoomed in, it looked a little shaky, so I zoomed back out. But it is technically speeding, but. It's only a few over. Oh, 39. Okay, so we're going four over. We're going five over. Yeah. Well, it really wouldn't be out of place in the streets of Manchester, would it, doing that? So Tesla says it's all under control, but safety regulators, including the NHTSA, are closely watching, especially when it comes to the performance in poor weather. Now, Texas is about to introduce new rules starting on September the 1st. These laws will require companies like Tesla to file safety reports, detail how the vehicles interact with pedestrians and emergency vehicles and much more. Critics say Tesla moved fast, maybe a little too fast, launching these before these rules actually take effect. And city officials in Austin have expressed concern that they currently have no local power to regulate the robo taxes at all. It's almost like Tesla are trying to build up their funds and their share prices for some reason that it dropped recently. Can't think why. So this puts Tesla in direct competition with the likes of Waymo and Cruise, which already offer fully driverless rides in places like Phoenix, San Francisco, and yes, even parts of Austin. But Tesla's unique approach, no radar, no LiDAR, just vision, sets it apart for better or worse. So what's next? Tesla is expected to expand the pilot in Austin and eventually roll out to the likes of Los Angeles. Elon Musk has said that the goal is to have hundreds of thousands of autonomous taxis on the road by 2026, which is only six months away, possibly including the upcoming Cybercab or Robovan. But there are still major hurdles ahead. Public trust, regulatory approvals, transparency around safety data, and proving the system can handle anything from heavy rain to, to chaotic downtown traffic. So as you can see here, it's also on the BBC webpage. Uh, this one's got RoboTaxi on the side. And it gives you a little bit of information around the service that they are providing. Now, the question that arises from this is who's in control of that vehicle if that vehicle is involved in an accident or somebody is seriously hurt or maybe a fatality who is to blame who is going to be held accountable is it tesla is it elon musk is it the software designers is it the highway so there's a lot of gray areas in the legal system at the moment in the event that an incident does happen and as we've said, as I've said a moment ago, the laws are being tightened in Texas, but not until September. So Tesla have seized the moment and got some of their vehicles operating before the new stricter guidelines come in place. Here we go. First Tesla Robo Taxi ride. We're going to go on this side. Here we go. 
go. Ultra rep. First Tesla Roma taxi ride. You guys probably saw that guy actually earlier today. Somebody posted a picture of it. How's it going? Hello, John. Hello. Welcome to Roma Taxi. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, can I see your app real quick, please? Before yes. We Just one moment. All right, guys. Thanks for Thanks. Robo Taxi. Thank, Thank you very, very much. Sir. Absolutely awesome experience. Have a good one. Okay, so I found a video on YouTube from uh, it's Kim Java, um, and she's managed to get into sounds like several Robo Taxis over the last couple of days. So I'm going to have a quick look at some of the footage from her YouTube channel. So you can check her out, Kim Java. Um, yes, yeah, plenty of footage, but I'm going to have a quick look at some of it. Not all of it, just some of it. And let's see what this Robo Taxi does. As a passenger safety, safety, safety not driver, monitor, maybe? Safety monitor <laughs> in the passenger seat. Now, um... I don't see anything at his feet, but I will say all of them, everyone that's been in that passenger seat has had their hand on the door. Now I can't tell exactly <laughs> if there's an extra button there or not. They also do not talk to us. Every time we try to ask them questions, they say they're just here for our safety. Well, it is possible that the driver has got a kill switch in the door handle that he could pull in the event of an emergency, the vehicle goes off goes in the wrong way down a one-way street you know things like that so there is a possibility that that driver could stop that car from driving also if you're a tesla owner it syncs with your preferences automatically which is really nice when you get inside you also have you know if you want to control the music or listen to a podcast or something you can do that you can play some games in here there's some different games you can like go through now that's pretty cool being able to have it synchronized to your phone so if you've got a playlist or you're listening to an audio book and you don't want to interrupt it you're getting a cyber taxi and automatically carries on playing that is pretty cool i like that the ai is to teach it to drive like a human um, we've also taken several waymo rides um, to kind of compare it and what's unique about waymo here in austin is that you actually order an, an uber and then Waymo comes up as an option. So as you saw there, the, the car came up to a, a stop junction or a T-junction and it stopped. It allowed a car to go past and then it carried on. That is very impressive technology. Considering I've seen videos of the Teslas that have basically just plowed into things because they've not been able to see objects in fog because they use certain types of cameras that have got no depth perception. Um, and so when it's faced with a um, objects within foggy conditions or misty conditions, it can't recognize how close they are. Whereas the BYD passed the test um, flying colors, but the Teslas didn't work. So it's really good to see that they've improved the technology on this robo taxi. This could be the future. Just remember what happened in Hot Tub Time Machine 2. And if you're not seeing it, go and check it out. Oh, the funny. train. This you can is actually first. see it. it. Looks like a big bus or something going by. That's Let's kind see. of funny. There's the train. Yeah. A bunch of buses yeah. just cruising by, and then you see the yellow lights flashing from it. They're like it drives so human-like. I appreciate that. I appreciate that we haven't stopped on the train tracks like that human did over there right after a train. Oh, we're signaling. We are moving. Yeah. There you go. Woo. Again, it drives like a human. That was kind of an <laughs> aggressive little. Uh, that really was. That was, that was impressive. Two two things. One, it didn't stop on the railway lines, which, you know, it, it, it is fantastic. It, it knew where they were, were and it could see them. Um, so many times, especially in the UK, we see people parking on railway lines at crossings. Not far from where I live, there are level crossings and, you know, people will stop with the rear over them because they think they can get across and they can't and then the barriers start to come down everybody panics it's a big problem but that that didn't but then it decided it wasn't going to let the vehicle on the left pull into the right hand lane because it obviously wanted to it turned its wheels and was beginning to indicate the, the robo taxi said no i'm coming through and 
and pushed its way through into that lane. That kind of driving I like. room and he said he's been using it to go back and forth to the giga factory for a few months now and yes it will drive like a human it's going 38 and a 35 right now as you saw as i zoomed in it looked a little shaky so i zoomed back out but it is technically speeding but it's only a few over oh 39 okay so we're going four over we're going five over yeah. it's listening to me and it's like i'm gonna speed up Okay, so the law that right the now. Tesla I don't know Tesla I did, but you can see these cars like right here. They're passing over. And I'm going the car speed. in front of us, that's though, true. Yeah. is passing us. Not that any of us ever so have done that ever in the past whatsoever. So it kind of goes to show human, like, that there are still like flaws like in the system. Because even though the other cars were speeding, the robo-taxi should still adhere to the law. And this is one of the problems in the event that as I've said, there is an accident or an incident, who is to blame? If there's a speeding ticket because of that taxi's broke, the, gone through a speed camera, breaking the law, who's actually going to get that penalty? Who's going to get those penalty points on their license? Because somebody has broken the law, and it certainly isn't the passengers because they've got no control over it. So again, another little bit of a grey area in the legal system there. So what do you think? Is Tesla really on the edge of driverless revolution or are they pushing ahead too quickly? Let me know your thoughts below in the comments and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for more tech and EV updates and I'll see you in the next video.